Welcome back, everyone, for more Call of Cthulhu. Last night when we left off, we were in a bad spot. It's time to try and figure out just how in the hell we're going to get out of it. Ah, now, I did want to fix one thing. When I looked at the video, especially after it got uploaded to YouTube, it looked a little dark. So I am going to go ahead and up the brightness a little bit. Hopefully that fixes it. I hope it wasn't, it's not too hard to watch those first few videos. And I could just completely be off base, but looking at the OBS preview, it did look a little dark in some places. Okay, those little shrieks, they're still loud in my head. All right. Let's get back to it. Yes, yes, we've read this intro. Oh, and my roommate's dog is going to start. Yes. Something special. And my neighbors are thumping on the ceiling. Hmm. <sighs> I also adjusted the angle on my LEDs or my lighting. And it appears to that appears to have alleviated the entire the whole face looking like a lobster bullshit I usually have going on. Now I only look slightly orange. Ugh. But we'll just have to deal with it. I'm going to have to look at my phone now and then. I'm waiting for feedback on a group project. About that in video, though. Yes, yes, Pierce is in the Institute. You know. I could have loaded in before I started the video, but you're getting the full experience. We've seen this cutscene, so we're not going to watch this again. And this one. What happened to me? Where am I? Oh, those ambient sound effects. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't Ooh. understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no. You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. Those mad scrawlings look interesting but familiar <coughs> okay looked at the gas and choked a bit can't do anything with the door guess we'll wait Seems we don't have much of a choice. Um. Hey, are we in Dreamland or are we actually? Oh, frames! What are you doing? I don't have a lighter or anything. Makes sense being in an asylum. Still looks dark as hell on the preview. They trapped her and hunted me. As you leave right into their dreams. They swooned all over their maps in the wake of my lonely wanderings. Eh. 
That doesn't sound like a problem at all. Talk to you? No, and oh. Uh. That's that's not creepy at all. Let's, let's, let's just go. We're just gonna go. Now don't get up. Don't trouble yourself on my account. I mean, hmm. I don't know how to respond to that. We're just, just gonna leave. Just gonna go. Hey, maybe this isn't a dream. Can't be good. Ed's nightmares are getting a little bit worse. Wake up. Come on, stand up. We don't have much time. Okay. Getting me out of here or what? Can you stand up? Who are you? Oh. A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait, Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. I really don't either. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, Ooh. I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the Ooh. same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible and as unobtrusively as possible. I brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Wait a minute. Uh. Yeah. Who, who Why the hell? I trust you. I don't even know your name. All I have is a woman dressed as a doctor, which is not particularly reassuring. I am Dr. Marie Colden. I work in this institute. But that does not mean I approve of everything Dr. Fuller does. Mm. He hides a lot of things from me, especially on this floor. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Okay. Understood. She was the one that the... Uh... The two guys at the stranded whale were talking about causing trouble. Hmm? Hmm? What does this mean? Let's reconstruct. <laughs> what did they inject him with? Probably the same shit they injected you with, but Lay in an asylum. The noises don't give it away, really. Sarah. Okay, that was unexpected. In his eyes, this symbol must have some protective virtues. 
Could be wrong about that. What did he write about the painting? Paintings are cursed, maybe? I think that's what it says. Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. Huh. Interesting. Can I get in any of these? Anything at all. Starts to look at, come on. Okay. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Oh, can't go take a look at him either. Yeah, this is a this is a happy little place. None of these doors open. Time to move on. I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Hmm. You look over here. White marker. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, no. Okay, so Ed's a little claustrophobic. <laughs> kind of thought that would, you know, it said high voltage. I thought there'd be a way to kill the lights, but I guess it's just a hiding place. machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm going to see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will you? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. Well, I guess I'm gonna go fuck with the wheels. Eventually. Good God. What could this machine be used for? Let's do some what research. What's going on here? Well, I mean, that's what I was hoping you'd explain when you looked at those charts. According to this record, the patient seems to be suffering from psychosis. He gouged out his own eyes in an attack of delirium. Eh? Oh. Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? I don't doubt it. Oh. The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? I got a bad feeling I'm going to find out. That's just another hiding place. Yeah, it's probably someone else. How you doing, Shaman? It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. Hold on. Not familiar with that term. 
Done with shepherding sharks, murderers, superheroes, and raptors to more candy is nice. Instrument for measuring electrical. Kind of what I thought, but I wanted to be sure. I, I don't think I want to flip that switch just yet. This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? Don't think I want to do that yet. Worse and worse. Yeah, that's a lot of syringes. The liquid connects it to the electric current. What are its properties? That's... Hmm. Vats of rotten flesh? An elaborate electrical system? Like a dumb pulp novel. Oh, there's hidden stuff in here too. Time to look closer. Doesn't look like it's in here. Oh, it is. Do the cops know what's going on? Bloodstained badge belongs to a dark water police officer. What was he doing in the cellars of Riverside Institute? Hmm. Okay, that was the only hidden object. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that just yet. There's more things I have to look for. Oh yeah, totally. Maggots are always a sign of good housekeeping. Breviary of Medicine, Tome 1. This heavy tome, the first in a series of three volumes, is the bedside book of every experienced practitioner. It contains all the recent advances in modern medicine. It's frequently found in the libraries of major medical universities. It's surprising to discover a copy in such an isolated place as Darkwater. I want to tell that dog to shut up again. A control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You come in here. You're going to come in here. Uh, this isn't good. Would you kindly get lost? Yeah, he does. Gotta get out. I'm guessing so. I wonder if it's showing up on... No, that's just about the ritual. I do have two points available. Drop those into psychology. Marie Colden, age 32, doctor. Officer Bradley's female friend works as general practitioner at the Riverside Institute. She had figured out long before I arrived that Fuller was involved in illegal activities. She wants to shed full light on the nature of his experiments and believes that helping me solve the Hawkins case could advance her own investigation. Charles Hawkins, ship owner. Charles Hawkins is alive. Despite its crude and deformed appearance, this thing looked like Hawkins. He attacked Bradley after he recognized him. 
What could have happened to Charles on the night of the fire? Never seen a Major Burns victim in such a state. Yeah, no. That th those aren't burns, man. Something's not right. That's... Understatement. Sleeping cultists. They are laid out on a frozen stone. One would say they are dead, but their bodies do not decompose. Are they in some form of coma? One thing is sure. These men were subjected to a type of treatment that changed their physical characteristics. I'm not sure that we can still call them men. The cellars of the Riverside Institute and one of the cells of the asylum, the same symbol written in black chalk and repeated over and over again on the padded walls, does make one think. It represents a five-pointed star with, in its center, what could be a twig, a branch, or a feather. A few cryptic phrases accompany the drawings, but they do not seem to have a logical meaning. There is mention of a look, a portal, and a painting. Finally, the patient's file, which fell when the guards tried to take him out, reveals that he received, received a visit from Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> Castrated. Alright, so at that and that. Later, the hurricane lamp and a pipe tap. Oh, I didn't. And that's just the medical book that I found. Holy fuck, this place is huge. If I walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not see him. If I do not see him, I do not see him. I do not hear him. He does not call me. He does not call. He calls me. If I walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, I catch him. If I catch him, oh. I sleep. Where the hell did he come from? Okay, there's another hallway. Another switch there. Yeah, for real. That just leads back into that room. Archives. Maybe I can find some useful information here. Nope. Nope. Another closet. Zoology is esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Hmm. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Interned at Riverside for fits of insanity a while before her death. It wasn't at her first attempt with the fire. The mansion. What? I don't understand what that last line meant. It was written weird. That Dr. Fuller again. Document attesting to the fact that Irene Sanders, wife of Francis Sanders, had her husband interned after he had shown grave signs of madness. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. And those topics would make sense in a place like this. That's problem. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, 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 not six. Four, five. Three days to go. Yeah, that's it. Four days away. Five to go. Five. I'm gonna have to step. I gotta do. I gotta try and do something about this dog. It will not stop barking, and I can't do anything about it because it's my roommate's dog and it's in his room.
All right, sorry about that. Jesus! That actually got me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh fuck, that brought attention. You there. Oh, tits. Chat. Chat. Nope. Not waiting. No, no, never. Hey, right? Pfft, books. Books in a Lovecraft game. Lose him? I think I lost him. Oop. Not expect this to turn into a stealth game. Probably should have. I didn't go see Champ 2018. Yeah. Keep on going. I still can't believe that freaking window got me. Another closet to hide in there if I need it. Oh, post it up. Look, is there anything useful in there? Oh, they just they just think they're seeing things. We're not real. Get me out. He thinks we're real. What is well enough inside me? I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars and swells and has strength of oceans. Shut up. Waves rise and crash. Shut up. Even behind the moaning trail of white nourishing foam. He is my master. He enters me. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Extremely lewd. Nope. Fuck. He snuck up behind me. We'll just just cower here for a second. Everything will be fine. seem to be friends with the nurses. 
I can help you. Help me, and I'll owe you one. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? I mean... No! Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Hmm. Is it the noise that disturbs you? No, it's the nightmares. We all have them here. That's what wakes us up. And afterwards, there's no way to get back to sleep. I will try. If I find something, who knows what I'll do. Don't play the wise guy because you're on the outside and I'm not. Kitchen. I mean, if he makes noise anyway, that just makes it easier on me. Where? Yes, but I have the power of running. Exactly what I need. It is it. Light. Is it? Though? It's a light. How is a lamp exactly what I need? Maybe he's talking about the keys. Yeah, that was that was a confusing one. Well, there's a locked door, so it's probably the keys. I have to get in there. A pharmacy. Who? Oh! Oh boy. I have erred. I have erred substantially. Time to go time to go hide in my closet. Or I might have gotten far enough away. You come over here. Okay. Try going in through this door. See if there's a way to loop around. Not to staff. Last week's incident caused significant damage to the infrastructure, putting a stop to current experiments. This is unacceptable. From now on, the wheels to operate the gas stopcocks must be kept in the storage room after each use. Moreover, you must keep the register of use up to date, Dr. Fuller. Yeah, that's probably the, the wheel. The gas think. leaves from here, and it runs through the whole building. All right. Dr. Fuller, I've repaired your machine as best I can. However, the piping has been damaged, and I fear that gas is escaping. Not do any more in such a short time. All I can do is warn you if the equipment is put under too much pressure, there is risk of an explosion. Z. Allen, mechanic. Well, this seems like something I probably don't want to do just yet. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. A duct. Oh. 
This valve controls the pressure. It looks like it's actually a situation where we've got multiple ways to progress here. I could have the patient cause a distraction. I could cause an explosion that would uh, probably knock that door off, that gate off the hinges. Perfect. Something with this these electrical electrical boxes. Okay, let's see where this goes quickly. Yeah, it's definitely a claustrophobia thing. Light does nothing for it either. Or, okay, no, that duct just brought us around here. This lever must turn on the gas machine. So I probably have to fiddle with all of those, all the valves, and then flip that lever. Hmm. Keep looking around though. We're all we're an investigator. Have to investigate. It's locked. That's that closet I was in. Another hut. Let's calm down. is just information, dear Francis. Invaluable information for my research. Kill me! Kill me! What? Anders. If you don't kill me, he will. My poor friend, I fear your mind is lost forever. It does. The uh, putting points in investigation, it does increase your lockpicking ability. Who? Shit, 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 shit. Pick that one. I think this storage room, I can try to pick this. Shit. This padlock is too complicated for me. Let's wait for this guy to pop out of the kitchen and then go back in. Yeah, right? Come on. Heard this. He went out. Nope, he came back in. Segment is just one big Benny Hill skit. No. Shit. Wow. 
want to get into that pharmacy. Chant, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> All right, you know what? My curiosity is peaked. Want the lantern? There wasn't a switch here. Guessing I have to throw all four of them. It's done. Now for the others. Come on. I can't even get to the red switch with him there. All right. Well, I can't do that. Plan B is go for the gas. Now for the next step. Oh, but I think I need another. I do. I need another wheel. It's in that other storage room. All right. Oh, hi there. Alright, so I need to get by you so I can get these keys. One key got me out of there. Hopefully the other one lets me in this closet, this maintenance room, storage room. Fuck. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Where do they keep their sleeping pills? My 
new friend's sleeping pills. Scopolamine, morphine, opium, nothing but common drugs. I will play Ring Around the Rosie in this bitch with you. Well, those tools look great. There is hidden stuff in this room, so I'm going to be in here a minute. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. No, probably not. There's the other wheel. <laughs> I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs, sir. Oh, come on. Juke. <sighs> Although, if... Mm, if I cause an explosion, that's going to severely fuck something up. Maybe it would be better if I just went with the uh, patient over here. If nothing else, I'm set up for if I have to do that anyway. I've got what you want. Show me! There. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The crows, they're everywhere. Make them go away. Okay, so that pulled that guard. Shut up. The doctor pulled the corners. It was just a sham. We won't be had again. What carnage? Hmm. Okay, well that got me in here, which, yeah, there's the other switch. So I bet I do end up. I've only got one lever to push. I bet I do end up having to do all three of these things. So pulling all the levers and setting all those handles, that was all just future proofing. Controversial practice of bleeding is still exercised today. This book explains in minute detail the different methods as well as the instruments required. Methods are outdated, not very effective. It is to be hoped that the reading of such a work is purely for historical purposes. Somehow I doubt it.
Now, the question becomes, where did I leave that last lever? <laughs> well, And the cable leads out here. Well, I know which three I've pulled. The only one I've got left is the green one. Pipes. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, it was in here. And that's what the other key was for. All the levers are activated. Well, I see no way this could come back to bite me in the ass. So, next time we'll pull the levers. Ha 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 ha.